Rocket League Season 7 released a couple days ago, and I haven't been able to play the game. I am not kidding. I am getting freezes every 30 seconds or so, so I haven't had the chance to start my climb in ranked until they hopefully fix it. But I do have a bunch of games from last season when I play with Daniel from SSG. I ended up recording a ton of games with him on stream if you want to catch more live content. But if you want to see a second episode with more of the matches with him, let me know. In these ranked games, you'll see why Daniel is one of the best Rocket League players out there right now. So hope you guys enjoy the gameplay and the commentary. Got Troco and Sathy, oh my gosh, here we go. Get 50 50. Alright, Dan, what you got? Oh, a double flip reset? Nice 50. Pop it around to Sathy here. Close. Troco clears it, it's totally fine. I'll go to the back corner here. Nice 50 50 as well. Gonna sit behind here, wait for Dan to try to make a 50 50 or something. Get a challenge. Take the boost here. Oh, don't get demo, please. He's carrying me. All right, we got space. Got 45 boost behind Daniel. Hopefully, hopefully he can make a play off the side. That's not a great touch. Gonna give them free possession. It's totally fine. I fake this so he just pops it forward. Good touch. What do we should say with this? Wait in the mid here. Big flicks. I'll take this boost from Sathy before he can, and that way we can. Kind of create a starve here a little bit. Oh, big backflip from Sathew. Big flicks to the far side. Almost in. Should be a little bit of space for Dan to go for a, a challenge of sorts here. Nice 50 50. Oh, well, my bad. Too bad, right, though. Wait across here. He's got a space. I'll just let him go for it. Let's pop over one. Round two, Sathy's super awkward. Take his boost. Let Dan go for this. Nice, good shot. Yeah, I haven't done too much so far, but I'm just trying to uh, warm up here and try to get a read on Dan. We're holding some pretty good pressure. We got eight shots together here. Should be some space for Dan on the side here. Go for the back corner. Early challenge, but Dan should probably be able to pass this back or something. Nice 50-50. Wait for Dan to go for this again. He's got space. Flip reset. Clean. Nice shot. Really good placement. Really good control. All the space in the world to make a play if he wants to. And obviously he wanted to. <laughs> and by that I mean he actually used the flip reset. He could he could uh he could not use it. Wait for the next next touch here. Over the one. I'm pretty sure uh Troco can't control this too well. Pop it around. Nice follow up. Probably going to get that boost. That's okay though. I don't want to waste too much boost going uh, forward here because it's probably going to be a touch from. Oh, actually, that's, that's all right. But Troco's going to follow this. So I can see. He's also going to follow on the backboard. Let's get the right mid here. Let Dan stay with this. Very good at controlling the ball in the air. Decent 50 50. Should be able to get this boost. A good beat from Tro by Troco, but it should be fine to clear it. I beat Sathy, but that actually might not be good for us because Troco gets a free ball, as you can see, possession here. I shouldn't have even tried to go for that. I think Daniel has it. Yeah. I had nine boosts. I'm trying to keep close to it. It's a good pop out. I think that should give me time to get this mid boost, and that back corner should spawn for Dan here. A good challenge. It'll be alright though. Nice touch from Dan. Probably gonna follow this, but Troco's gonna beat me to it anyway. Go for 50 50. Actually, it might have been better that I left it, but I'm not sure though. Pumping Troco out. Should be an open shot. There we go. 
I saw Turco get caught off guard in the midfield, so I went for the bump on him when he was backing off. And uh, it worked out really well. I'm going to try to go back right here if Dan goes there. I think he likes to cheat, though, in twos. But still goes back right for the demo. Nice left, maybe. Oh, that's going to be really bad. Big clears. Sathy wasn't ready for it. I'm going to wait for the uh, mid pass here, maybe. Or one. Still can't go for this yet. I'm going to pop it. I'm going to fake this. Okay, I should not have faked that. <laughs> uh, Turco did not get faked at all. He, I knew that that was dangerous to do, but I was hoping that Turco would back off. But he's obviously really hungry for a goal because they're down three. So probably a better play when you're like either up by one or or like closer in uh, score line than three zero. Good follow up. I'm trying to avoid the bumps in mid here. Turco likes to do those bumps like I just did on him. I'm gonna fake this again. But not, not in a position where I'm going to screw myself over. This should be okay. Should still be okay. I got to loop around, though. Let Dan take it. Oh, that's my bad. Be all right, though. I nice save. Take the corner boost. Maybe a big clear from Dan. Oh, nearly. It's actually still up. But there it goes. And they're all out of here. <laughs> Everyone leaves so quick. That's actually 13 points. That's pretty good. I'm not even sure why we got 13. Uh, I'm not, I didn't see what rank Dan was at, but we'll take it. That was a good first game. All right, we got Pluto and Ajax. Uh, this isn't Plutonium Falcon that you might know from a long time ago. It's actually a newer player. I've talked about that a lot. Um, he has the same name as a, a older player. Trying to stay in front of here. I tried to bump Ajax too, but Dan's got to defend in this, uh, for a little bit while I get behind him. I'll beat Pluto here, but one of them's probably going to stay with this ball anyway. Go around him. Hope his mid-boost spawns. There we go. Around the one. Pop it towards target. I think I'm going to clear it. Dan should beat. Can't quite follow because I'm still getting boost, but... Go behind him. What a save. Maybe still a shot. I like that from Dan not to, to overcommit on the play. We got a good shot. Uh, but Oh, this could be dangerous for him. Close. Um, we got a good shot on target. That's going to be all we need to cause some pressure and not overcommit. You got a decent 50-50 across the corner. I think I could probably get bumped here from Pluto. Stay with this if I can. Pluto was patient though. A little bit of a wasted opportunity since he was so patient. Let him flip here. Nice. Got the good angle. I got the follow up on the double touch. There's a lot of space there because Ajax didn't have his flip. So once I saw that, I was able to uh, stick with it and go for the double. That's really bad. Could be in our net too. It's actually really good touch from from Dan. That's off. He's still getting boost. I'm going to force him to go for the clear here. I'll try to go for the demo as well. It's going to be dangerous for him. Good save. Good follow up. I'm 10 boost. I don't want to overcommit here. I know that Ajax knows I'm going to try and push up. So wait behind. Go for the clear off this corner. Probably t touch this second it drops. I tried to pop it over the last two, but Dan has some space. It's a little bit of dangerous, but Dan's still recovering, so it's all good. Can't go for the double off the backboard. Ajax has to waste a lot of boost to go for that clear. It's bad off the ceiling too, so it should be open. Nice play from Dan. Really good pressure. We, we uh, So far, these first two games, we've gotten majority of the pressure in both games. Still pop it over over the backboard because Pluto's gonna have to make a clear and he's low boost on the follow. So the only one who has boost is Ajax, and he just popped it to me, so should be good. Pluto's once again still low. I think he's only on pads. He's gonna have full now though off that corner, so he's probably gonna go for a flick. Good read up by Daniel here. I'll watch out for the de uh, the demos in mid. Am I gonna go on this? 
He's probably not expecting me to. Get patience from Dan. I'm going to go for mid boost pads here. Pretty much get 100 off this. I didn't get the angle. It's a bit tough. Probably should have uh, been a little more patient with that. And I redirected it <laughs> into our net. That's tough. I think Dan wanted me to go a little earlier. I could tell the way he pushed towards the ball and then backed off. That's when I started to try to go. I, I probably could have went a little bit earlier and helped him out. Uh, forced him into a position where it's a lot less dangerous to cover that final shot. I'm gonna fake him here. Probably should not have jumped for that. Space. Bump him a little bit. Got 39 boosts. 50-50. Unfortunately, that boost just spawned on Ajax, so we're gonna be tough. Tough position here. Nice 50. It's really important that I grab as many of these boost pads as I can. I'm gonna be starving out Dan though with this uh, this play, but I'm trying to bump bump Ajax on that air dribble. Okay, I'm gonna have to go for this corner boost and relinquish the ball possession. Because uh, I need the boost more than the, the play. I missed the shot. Bit of a panic from uh, Pluto. Nice save from Dan. I'm just going just in case he couldn't get the read either. It's um, better that both of us go on that. I can't, I, can't, I can't follow that up though. I got caught on the crossbar. So good pressure from them to follow that up. Dan, Dan got pushed into the corner, and I didn't get the best clear because I only had 20 boosts, but try my best over their heads. It's actually good that he clears it. I should. I need to make sure I take the boost. This should be all right. Nice follow up. Nice. Maybe Dan can shoot this. I like that he's going for that mid boost instead of going for the shot immediately because now he can cause some some havoc on the back end. Make Ajax and, and Pluto both double commit. Grab a few boost pads. I don't want to fully back off. Oh, that's a good pop. I did not expect that. This could be bad. Or, or good. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say if that went up, that was actually pretty good. They've caused a lot more pressure in the second half of this game. They're, they're pushing up a lot more. That's really bad. I definitely could have scored there, I think. I mean, there's always an opportunity to score. Try to bump Ajax as well, but... Really great shot. Yeah, not my best game. I mean, the first game was definitely a lot better for me, I feel like. Definitely still on the warm-up side of things, but I think that we, uh, we held the pressure pretty well. They definitely pushed a little harder in the second game, but Dan just too good, man. He's just too good. Some days when I play Rocket League, I don't know what it is, but I feel the, the acceleration of the boost a lot more sometimes. That probably sounds weird, but maybe maybe you guys get what I mean. If you, if you do know what I mean, let me know, because I, I sometimes I feel the boost more. I, I don't know what it is. It's weird. Nice shot. Really good play. I didn't really mean to pass that. I mean, it was a good pass because it bounced off the, the player in, in net, but... I don't think Dan got that boost. It's going to be tough here for me for a second. Good save off the backboard. I can't follow this. I'm just going to force a, a Stromic up for an early touch. Nice demo. I'm going to go for an early bump play here. Nice. I'm going to go behind Dan. Hopefully he can go for an early challenge. That could be really bad for us. Nice try on the save. I probably shouldn't have went for that that turn on the on the chip right here. I'm not sure though, because I, I mean he had a 50-50. He was playing for the 50-50. That was like a perfectly mirrored challenge, but unfortunately, Dan and the other player gets the boost and the other two, we have to back off. All right, got some space for a dribble. It's really awkward for Ajax, I'm gonna back off. Oh, sorry. I was trying to get around him. I wasn't sure which way he's gonna go. 
around. He should get this boost as well. I think he wanted the ball instead, but this could be dangerous. Oh, none of us read that ball. <laughs> Which is good for us, because that was definitely dangerous. Good bump. I should be able to recover, though. See, the dam wants it. This boost hopefully spawns for him. It spawned right afterwards. I'll leave it, just in case. Close. I had to go for the, the tight double, but we do get a immediate... Uh, oh, boy. Immediate counterattack because of it. You know, risk over reward. I definitely shouldn't have went for the uh, the high risk play, but uh, high level two v two becomes a lot of um, oh high high level two v two becomes a lot of just um, who makes the least mistakes. Two round Ajax here. Oh, I redirected it again, too. I just, sorry, I was really, really focused there. I didn't speak for, like, 20 seconds. It was a super awkward play. Astromic made it, like, really pop really weird into midfield. Tried to follow it up. I find playing players that have really high ping very, very difficult because they're usually just very, very aggressive because of it. Um, Like, overconfident, basically. They have to be. That's a good start for Dan here, though. He's just too good, man. <laughs> Look at him. He just full on 1v2. It's so good. I'm going to go for a need boost here and go back left. Straight free space. Might be open, actually, if Dan can suit this. Nice. Really good counter attack. They were really aggressive there. That's what I'm talking about the early aggression from uh, Astromic here. Like, he's just going for a very aggressive play because he can't react on the back end. But because he did that, he put Ajax in a really bad spot. Dan should get the boost here and possibly the ball. Ajax left it. And there's the early aggression from Astromic once again. I'm going to go for the early challenge. It's a bit dangerous because I think Dan used a lot of boost, but should be okay. I'm going to grab some boost pads in mid. Nice play. Early again from Astromic. I'm going to save my boost here. That's totally fine. No one there. I don't know how I saved that, but I did. 50-50. I'm trying to save my boost here. I have 21. He's going to beat me to all these boost pads. I know that. So there's no reason for me to waste my boost. And Dan knew that I was low. That's why he left that boost. Good for Ajax touch here. Probably have another one. That's also fine. I don't want to touch that because it's better that it comes back to Dan in control. It's be dangerous. I'm getting put in a lot of weird, uh, a lot of back end defense stuff, but hoping that's really awkward for a strong. I'm going to bump him if I can. So there's space. This 50 50 could be bad. I'm trying to get in the way of this, but it's going to be off backboard. Nice save. I double this forwards. Go for the boost. Probably not the mid boost, but I'll get this one here. I'll back off. Keep that safely to the corner as much as I can here. Nice play. It's a tough match. If you got that bump there, that was a really good. Whoa. Okay, that's fine. Make sure I grab the mid boost just in case he pushes up. I wait for a Stromic here. Make sure I take this boost. He's probably going to go around me, but that's okay. Good fall from Dan. Some space. Around the one. Stromic's up early. This could be really good for us. It's open. Nice. Good. Play. I can't believe we brought that back actually. They're being very, very aggressive. We got five seconds left though. We don't want to slip up here. Might not be fast enough. This could be really dangerous because he's actually gonna turn right here. I can't really help help out Dan, but he's up really, really early. Off the corner. Oh, close. I was trying to keep it up on the on the ramp there, but 
Really good game so far. Another plus 10. We're getting a lot of points. I mean, Dan is so easy to play with. He's very, very smart. Very, very calculated. And very controlled as well.